Hi friends, welcome back to Storytime. I'm Sarah Coulter from the Courier Museum of Art. Today we're reading Tar Beach, written and illustrated by Faith Ringgold. Ringgold is a prominent artist who is known for her narrative quilts, which tell stories by painting images and writing words on quilts. We follow along our protagonist, Cassie Louise Lightfoot. Cassie dreams of being able to be free to go wherever she wants, and the stars allow her to do that by letting her fly all over the city. Let's get reading. Tar Beach, written and illustrated by Faith Ringgold. I will always remember when the stars fell down around me and lifted me up above the George Washington Bridge. I could see our tiny rooftop with mommy and daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey, our next door neighbors, still playing cards as if nothing was going on. And Bibi, my baby brother, lying real still on the mattress, just like I told him to, his eyes like huge floodlights tracking me through the sky. See Bibi looking up at his sister. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical. Lying on the roof in the night with stars and skyscraper buildings all around me made me feel rich, like I owned all that I could see. You see all the buildings? The bridge was my most prized possession. Daddy said that the George Washington Bridge is the longest and most beautiful bridge in the world and that opened in 1931 on the very day I was born. There Cassie is, a little baby. Daddy worked on that bridge hoisting cables. Since then, I wanted that bridge to be mine. Now I have claimed it. All I had to do was fly over it for it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a giant diamond necklace. There she is, she's wearing the bridge. Or just fly above it and marvel at its sparkling beauty. I can fly, yes fly. Me, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, only eight years old and in the third grade, and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want for the rest of your life. If you could fly, where would you go? Daddy took me to see the new union building he is working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and not fall. They call him the cat. There he is, standing on the girders. But still, he can't join the union because grandpa wasn't a member. Hmm. Well, daddy is going to own that building because I'm going to fly over it and give it to him. Then it won't matter that he is not in the old union or whether he's colored or a half-breed Indian, like they say. He'll be rich and won't have to stand on 24 story high girders and look down. He can look at his building going up. It's his building. And mommy won't cry all winter when he goes to look for work and doesn't come home. And mommy can laugh and sleep late like Mrs. Honey, which looks really cozy. And we can have ice cream every night for dessert. Mmm, I wonder what kind of ice cream they're having. Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory just to make sure we do. <laughs> Tonight, we're going up to Tar Beach. Mommy is roasting peanuts and frying chicken and Daddy will bring home a watermelon. Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring the beer and their old green card table. Do you see the green card table? And then the stars will fall around me and I will fly to the union building. There she goes. I'll take Bibi with me. 
He has threatened to tell mommy and daddy if I leave him behind. Uh-oh. I have told him it's very easy. Anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. The end. Thanks for joining me, friends. What a great story. Now a question for you all. If you could fly just like Cassie, where would you go? For more great activities, you can join us at career.org or you can find us on social media using the hashtags, hashtag career from home, hashtag museum from home. Until next time.